What's going on ladies and gentlemen in the division community? Welcome back to the channel as we go through another gear review topic this week. Okay, why don't we all see the deflector shield being used much in the division two? I mean, come on, how many matches, dark zone servers, or open world group activities have you been a part of and not seen a single person equip this? Wondering why this thought came across my mind this week? I'll explain shortly. Come on guys, we're in 2024 and six years and not a single person is running the deflector shield. There's gotta be something wrong with it let's find out all right check this out right so i was playing this game mode called countdown for those who are new to the game and have no idea what i'm currently playing this is called countdown anyways as i was playing i ran across a player running a shield that never crossed my mind in over a year yes a year and i'm not exaggerating on paper the deflector shield sounds amazing it blocks bullets pushes back enemies and even dishes out some damage by reflecting damage being dealt to you it seems like a tank's dream right wrong but here's the thing many players just don't use it this shield right here yep you probably already seen it in the thumbnail that's why you clicked on this video let's see why all right first we got to understand the deflector shield the deflector shield causes incoming bullets to ricochet at nearby highlighted targets with clear line of sight to the agent though not a full body shield lack of brace means that only a sidearm may be used alongside the shield shield skill tier is increased with blue cores and yellow core attributes. Agents are briefly di disoriented when shield breaks from hostile damage. Stop right there. We just spotted a weakness. Yes, only use a sidearm. You can only use a sidearm with a shield, but not only that, this shield does not provide you enough body coverage, which means you can still get shot. It will reflect bullets, but like 60% of the bullets will still hit you. This is a huge disadvantage, especially when there's another shield called the bull who does who does a much better job with protecting you and doing a lot more damage with your pistol out you guys know for example anybody in the pvp side they know that there's bunk builds and then anybody on the uh pve side you know that the bulwark shield is just a better tank shield to use especially in raids like the iron horse for example okay let's talk about how it limits your mobility you're basically a walking wall dodging flanking and repositioning can become a challenge this is a huge Huge disadvantage in the game, especially because it requires moving, hurdling, and cover switching. Let's talk about its damage versus its usability. Uh, other skills like the Striker Shield, Crusader Shield, or Bulwark Shield often provide more offensive power and versatility compared to the Deflector Shield of purely defensive focus. Okay, now that we talked about the deflector shield not being used and what it is and how it works, let's go ahead and break down a way to make it good again and build a very strong build around it. Let's take a look at this one I created. Okay, so this build is piggybacking off of my subscribers build. It was a really good build and I feel like I can use it very well with a uh, uh, deflector shield, right? So the artificer hive is the key change that we have made. Also, uh, we had changed our special specialization to technician and then we swapped our pistol out for sledgehammer everything else is still the same now this is a great build to use because like i said the deflector shield does not protect us so we need protection from elite mods to protect us and reduce that heavy damage that's being taken right um another thing is that we went hard on the um damage okay with technician we're allowed to use artificial hive so that's why we have technician but not only that technician provides us flatline or a laser pointer which also increases our uh, damage output for our ar because we're using flatline what the laser pointer does is it automatically pulses anybody you aim at and what flatline does is give you 20 percent additional damage to post enemies you see why that's all um working together obviously guys i'm still using the ouroboros because it's just the best in slot for dps um everything else like i said is for protection and additional damage now the memento is a key 
key factor here too because when we're losing our armor we're also gaining it from the kills that we take by picking up the trophies and we're getting more damage on top of that so this is why i'm using this build and as you guys can see in this gameplay right now it is performing pretty well and it has saved my life a few times especially the memento picking up those trophies and dishing out that additional damage and letting that deflector uh do a little bit of deflecting now i highly recommend not using the deflector too much and just use the main weapons and try to just stay in cover because like i said before guys deflector shield does not save you okay and you still taking at least 60 percent damage so you can't take face tanks and just think you're going to be invincible with this it's not the bulwark shield with bulwark shield yeah you can be invincible but with the uh, deflector shield no its only role is to deflect some of the bullets that are being dealt to you all right so just keep that in mind when you are uh trying out this build or seeing exactly why nobody wants to run this deflector shield it's pretty much useless because of these disadvantages so if you guys enjoyed this review of the deflector shield and enjoy my content and are and is new to the channel make sure you hit that like button and subscribe and go ahead and click on this videos at the end and see exactly how this build is broken down and also my future videos until next time guys i catch you later peace